Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and yes I am being slightly more quieter uh, or slightly more quiet than usual and that's because it's very light as you can see down here it's quite light at night and um, my parents are both sleeping but I kind of just want to do this video now so I'm going to do it now um, today we are going to be doing the Sims 4 packs tier list uh, I will link it down in the description and you can also see the link up here as well but what we're going to do is we are just going to rank them if you've never seen a tier list before this is the best up here this is the worst down here and then we have all of our options so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go from uh, expansion packs to game packs to stuff packs and try to do them from release date um, so let's just start we have get to work and i think it, it's, it's gonna go here it's not super duper amazing but i quite enjoy running a business it's quite cool i do really enjoy it and so that's where it's gonna go get together is also gonna go here because i love windenburg you know it might even go up here i'll just have to see but I love Windenburg, I love the cast, it's the same with Get to Work, I love the cast, I love the build mode items. Um, I love Windenburg, and it's just overall a really great pack, the gameplay of it is also quite cool. Now the next pack I think we got was City Living, and I feel like I'm going to put that up there, but I also feel like I want to put it down here. I City Living introduced apartments to the game, so it's it's quite a game changer this pack it's a really cool pack it's kind of underrated because people didn't some people didn't like it but I feel like it's definitely one of the better packs we've got then we got cats and dogs which I'm also going to put here I like the cast I like the um, build mod items I love Brindleton Bay it's overall a very good pack then the next one I think we got was Seasons, and it is the first one that I know for sure I am definitely putting in super duper amazing. This pack is just great. I absolutely love it. It is a complete game changer. It completely changes your world. I love the calendar system. I love the seasons. I love everything about this pack. It's just absolutely amazing. Then we go to Get Famous, which I'm going to put there because, you know what, I might even put it down here because I do love the pack. It's kind of cool, but I don't really use it very much, so I do have to put it down in It Is What It Is. Next up, we have Island Living, and I love Island Living. Um, Sulani's great, I love the cast, I love the build mode items, it's kind of just the same for all of these. They're, they're just really great packs and you get your money's worth with these. And yes, they could be better, but you get your money's worth. Now, Discover University, I'm regretfully putting down here because I've never actually finished university before and I've never actually played with it fully and I thought this was a pack I was really going to love. I love the cast and I love the build mode but the gameplay I just didn't finish and I don't understand why. Maybe this will change in the future, maybe in the future that can go up there but for now it's going in, it is what it is. The next pack we have is the newest pack, it's Eco Lifestyle and I'm putting it up here. It is quite the game changer. I absolutely love the whole new system that's put into the game. Uh, it's really great, really fun, really enjoyable, and I'm using it quite a lot. I'm using a lot of the items and a lot of the cast at the moment, so it is a really great pack. I love it a lot. Then we have Outdoor Retreat. I'm putting it in meh. Some of the items are okay, um, the gameplay is alright, it was quite good, it was the first pack that they had ever released for The Sims 4, so they were kind of finding their feet, but it's not great. Not a big fan. Then next, I feel like it was Spa Day. Spa Day is also going down here. 
don't really use Spade all that much, don't really use much of the items, but it's not the worst pack in the world. Dine Out can go in here because I, oh no, it can even go up here because I love running restaurants, um, I love having restaurants and I love a lot of the items in cast and in build mode. Yes, okay, the gameplay is a little bit buggy, but it's fine, it, it's cool, it works, um, and it's a good pack. Then next up, we either have Parenthood or Vampires, but I'm going to go for Parenthood. It's going up here. Quite quite a good pack. Really like it. It's got some good features in it. It's got the whole Parenthood system in um, the character values. I do like it quite a bit. So it can go in most definitely better than okay. Then we had Vampires, and Vampires is going in meh. You know what? It can even go in heck no because I hate vampires, I really don't like them, they're really annoying, they come to my door all the time, even with the new send home immediately button, I just don't like them, it's not that great. Some of the build mode items are okay, some of the cast items are okay, but it's not great, it's not great at all. And I know this isn't the next pack, but it's the same with Strange, uh, not Strangerville, Strangerville can go here because it's okay and the world's kind of okay but it's a bit weird um i don't even remember what this pack is called realm of magic it's just it doesn't fit my gameplay style i kind of play more legacy challenges or just legacies like traditional family gameplay with a little bit of drama i don't like all this fantasy stuff i don't get it don't really like it no thank you then jungle adventure it can go here it can go in meh i i like the build mode items and some of the cast items are all right but the gameplay i've never really done it before and it's just not that great luxury party is here it can go in heck no it's okay some of the hairs are all right in cast but the rest of it i never really use i don't think i've used the build mode items in a long time so it can go down there and next, I think it is Perfect Patio. It is what it is. There's some hot tubs, but, you know, you know what? It can even go in most definitely better than okay, because I do use quite a lot of the items. Um, and you kind of get your money's worth, but with this, you don't really. Even though it was the first stuff pack, they could have done a lot better, um, but they just didn't. Then I feel like we had backyard stuff, which is, can go in here. I don't really use the items all that much. The slip and slides are way too long, even though they are really fun. They're just too long, and I can't fit them in my houses or in my gardens. So you can go in. It is what it is. Then I kind of get stuck. Cool Kitchen, I think, was next. It can go there. It was okay, but I wasn't a big fan. Um, It was all right. Uh, I don't really use much of the items, the cast is okay, but it is what it is. <laughs> There's not really much else to say. Then I feel like we've got spooky stuff, it can go in meh, I don't really use it. I feel like some of the items that were in spooky stuff were then re-added in seasons. I feel like that was a thing, so I don't really get that, so you can go down there. Uh, same with movie hangout stuff i don't really use much of them items i like at all um it's an okay pack but i don't really use it and it's not very fun to me apart from like the movies but you can watch that on a normal tv anyway and i never use popcorn machines so yeah not a lot to say there um next up i feel like it was Oh, one of these two. I'm going to pick this one. Kidroom stuff, it is what it is. It's quite a good pack. Um, you know what? It can even go up here. Because the build mode items, they're really good. I use them quite a bit. Um, the cast is also quite good, actually, I feel like. And the gameplay, it's kind of lacking a bit. But Parenthood and um, these two packs, Parenthood and Kidroom stuff, they kind of go together. So I feel like that's okay. Romantic garden stuff. I don't get this pack. Why was it made? It can go here because Like I don't understand why it was made. They could have probably just put a lot of that stuff in 
like free updates over time but I just really don't understand that pack the cast is quite good but the build mode items they could have been in base game added over time so you know it's okay um, what was next I don't even remember what was next bowling night you can go down there and never play with bowling night like at all um, some of the items are okay but it's not really that great at all, to be honest with you. Same with fitness stuff. I'm Well, it can go up here because I use quite a few of the cast items for my sims like fitness outfits, but I don't really use the big climby thing, which was kind of the selling point of the pack. I didn't use it. It was kind of just quite crap, to be honest with you. I don't mind saying. Um, You know... It can maybe even go down there, because I would... I'm going to put um, vintage glamour stuff up here, because I use quite a lot of the build mode items. Butlers are cool. I don't really use them too much, but when I do, I really need them. Um, so yeah, it's quite fun, that pack. It's, it's quite good indeed. Then we got my first pet stuff. I'm not going to put it down here, because I don't feel it deserves that. It's kind of underrated. Ooh, hang on. That one's got some white around it, and that's going to annoy me. Just like that one has a line on it. Um, It's kind of underrated. The fact they put it out not long after Cats and Dogs kind of made it feel like a bit weird. And it is an expansion for an expansion, so that's not great. But the items within it are okay. The cast is alright. So, overall, it's a meh pack. Um, Laundry Day. Laundry Day, gotta love that one. Um, very good indeed. Love the pack. It was a community voted pack, actually, so that is a very good pack. I really enjoy that pack. I don't really use Laundry all that much, but overall, I still feel like it's a good pack um, to use. Uh, what's this thing called? Toddler stuff. I'm <laughs> tempted to put it down here because it's an okay pack. I don't really use it all that much, but the gameplay features were okay, and it added the ball pit and ball pit gate, so that was a bit of fun. <laughs> so it can go in, it is what it is. Moschino stuff, it can, you know, I didn't really like the fact that they teamed up with this high-end fashion brand, and the, yeah, the teaming up, I didn't really understand it. Like, where are these two communities meeting? Mac, I can kind of get a bit better. But Moschino, eh, I don't understand why. Like, it's not really two brands that I would have thought would be logical to team up with one another, but they did it anyway. The photography thing, that's quite good, but apart from that, the cast is okay, but it's not great. Um, it is what it is. And last but not least, we have Tiny Living. You know, I'm tempted to put it up here, but if I'm putting this up here, then I've kind of got to put Get Together and even Get to Work up here, because this pack, I absolutely love it. It's so fun. I might even put this up here, you know, because it deserves it. It definitely deserves it. Tiny Living is so good. I love all of the items. I use them all the time. The cast items, they're really good. The gameplay is kind of lacking, but it's also really fun. And we got so much build mode items, especially compared to luxury party stuff, that... The difference between the first expa the first um, stuff pack and the newest stuff pack, there's a big difference that they've definitely learned. So I think this is my tier list in the end. Um, super duper amazing, we have get together, get to work, seasons, eco lifestyle, dine out and tiny living. Most definitely better than okay, we have city living, we have cats and dogs, island living, Parenthood, Perfect Patio Stuff, Kids Room Stuff, Vintage Glamour, and Laundry Day. It is what it is. You know, 
I might move get famous to up to most definitely better than okay but you know what maybe I won't nah I'm gonna put it back down it is what it is we have get famous get together uh, not get together discover university um backyard stuff yeah that's what it is uh cool kitchen romantic garden toddler stuff and mosquito stuff meh we have outdoor retreat spa day strangerville um jungle adventure spooky day or spooky stuff rather uh, movie hangout bowling night fitness stuff and um my first pet stuff and then heck no would be vampires or i think it was called vampires yeah uh realm of magic and luxury party so this is kind of the order that i would also recommend you buy these packs in like don't really get these unless they're on sale kind of the same with these ones if you are more into like family traditional style gameplay then i would get these top three here uh not on sale but i would definitely get these um before you got either of these two like buy these first then get these then these and wait till these are on sale and even then these are rock bottom don't get them but that is all from me this is my tier tier list please go and follow my twitter it's brand new so go and follow that also join my discord server and let find all my posts on the gallery uh, also follow my instagram for some posts coming up soon but thank you all very much for watching this video if you did like it please leave a like share it with your friends and subscribe for more content not only on the sims 4 but also on some other games too and i'll see you on the next one bye guys